So you're running a WordPress website. You might be a blogger with free resources you wanna to give to your readers, a musician releasing music, or maybe you just love sharing cool designs. I don't know. But at the moment, your files are probably scattered all over your website, hopelessly disorganized. Yikes. Well, don't worry. If you're looking for a handy way to present and share those files, there is a solution. Hi. I'm Sam from Barn2, the company behind some of the coolest WordPress plugins available. And after consulting thousands of users, we've designed the best WordPress document library plugin on the market. The Document Library Pro plugin has everything you need to manage and display your files, including fast and easy upload features, support for all file types, a search bar and filters, flexible download links, and you can easily embed audio, video, and more. Today, I want to show you how to upload files using four different methods in a quick step-by-step -step tutorial. If you haven't downloaded and installed the plugin yet, that's fine, but you're going to want to watch this video first, which I've linked in the description, and it'll explain everything for you. Okay, all set? Let's dive in and begin adding files to your library. As I mentioned, there are four quick ways to add documents. The first method is to simply add the documents manually. It's just like adding a page or a post in WordPress. Navigate to Documents on the left-hand menu and click Add New. Give your document a title and then add text and media. And write a summary in the excerpt section. You can also link to external documents, for example, a Dropbox or Google Drive file, by using the Document Link section on the right. If you can't see this section, make sure it's viewable using the screen options up here. Now, all that's left is to categorize and add tags for quick reference. If you set this up in advance in the settings, it'll lead to much greater organization once you've added all your files. Finally, hit publish and your new document will be added to your website's file list. To view this, simply navigate to the permanent link you created in settings. For me, it's my web address forward slash document hyphen library. Are your documents already in WordPress? Well, then this next method will take just a few seconds. Go to the media section in the WordPress admin. Make sure you're on list view rather than grid view. Click on the icons in the top left to switch. Tick the files that you're adding to the document library plugin. Use the bulk actions drop down to select add to document library and hit apply. Click the link that appears to view your documents. You might want to tweak some details like the name or add extra information about each document. The third method is to drag files straight into the document library from your computer. To add documents using drag and drop, go to documents and click Import. Now select the files you want from your computer and drag and drop them onto this page. Go to the Documents section in the WordPress admin to view them and make any changes. Our final method is to bulk import documents from CSV. To import large numbers of documents into the library, add all the data to a CSV file and upload it to WordPress. You can use any spreadsheet program, for example, Excel, to add all the information about your document to a CSV file, including the URL of where it's currently located. For a useful starting point, download the sample CSV file from the Document Library plugin knowledge base on our website. And go to Documents, click Import, follow the on-screen instructions to upload your CSV file. This includes a page where you choose which column from the CSV to map to each field in the Document Library. Complete all the steps and your files will appear in your document library. And that's it. Well done. Now you know four different ways you can add documents into the Document Library Pro plugin. But what if you want to make those files password protected or only share them with certain people? Well, wouldn't you know it, we have a plugin just for that. If you want to learn more, you can check out this video next to see how it's done. Thanks for watching.